TC Baker here from Wallace Kia in Bristol, Tennessee. Remember to shop the right way on the parkway. We're really excited about the 2016 Sorento models. This is an SXL. This is a top of the line model right here. And the 2016s have been completely redesigned. More parts on it are new than old in the 2016s. So one of the main things they did, they made it bigger. It is wider and it's longer. Three inches in wheelbase have been added. Now the Sorento is just about the same size as a Jeep Grand Cherokee but has a third row seat. It is also just slightly smaller than a Honda Pilot, slightly smaller than a, uh, or just about the same size as a Toyota Highlander as well. So this is the SXL, as you can see, it has some nice chrome accents. 19 inch chrome wheels, yeah, those are 19 inch chrome wheels. Might not look like it because the car is so big, but yeah, those are 19 inch chrome wheels. Got chrome roof rails. And then when you get around to the front of the vehicle, you have LED positioning lights. One of the most dr dramatic features in the front you notice different on the 16 Sorento is the Tiger Nose grille. It's still there. It was on the 15s. It's on most all Kias. But the it's such a sharp angle, real sleek look. You can tell it's a modern car. This is the modern car. The nose just drops right off. And uh, part of what they're doing is which is in improving ride quality, reducing body roll, is that Kia has a cab forward design. They're putting in all the, all the Kias. And what that simply means is that above the tires where you have your uh, strut towers here, where you have the suspension and everything going down to the wheels, it's a real strong point of the car. Another strong point of the car is the firewall, which is right here. So the cab forward design gets the firewall up with the strut towers to create a triangle and that triangle is a strong weight center it's a strong point of the car and gives you better um, handling lower body roll some of the nicest features on the Sorento tower are are inside so this SXL let's let's lock it first so this SXL I've got the keys in my pocket <clears throat> So it has, uh, it's got the proximity key with push button start. So that, that unlocks the car. You can see the mirrors power fold close. And there's the push button. Now one of the, one of the nice things on this Sorento here, it has the navigation. This option is available on Sorentos with the EX premium package and higher, but it has uh, it has a blind spot detection, so if somebody gets in your blind spot right there, it's going to flash and let you know, hey, better not merge over just yet. You can see we've got a, a real attractive cabin here. Here's my uh, head unit. It splits the screens between navigation and my radio here. Real large, real large uh, nav screen. With your with your backup camera and one of the things that Kia, Kia started to do it you saw it first on um, some of the Korean made cars the Forte and the Sportage the clean air system in the car no one likes a smelly car so Kia actually they've got a high-tech filtration unit in this car to keep the air smelling clean and fresh so we've got a clean air unit we have dual automatic temperature control so driver high and then the passenger low. This one happens to have heated and cooled. There's the cooled, heated front seats, heated steering wheel. It has two USB port, sorry, two 12 volt outlets with a USB port in the front. Now, this steering wheel is, is very nicely designed. It's leather wrapped. The heated sure does come in handy. And you've got a nice instrument cluster up here with different options. Right now I'm looking at my range and my average MPG. I can go to a compass. Go to my uh, radio right there. Tire pressure. It's going to give my tire pressure. i got to obviously drive to display. And then settings. And I can go in here and uh, change things like my tailgate. This vehicle has a uh, power tailgate. I can turn it on or off. It's got a smart tailgate where you stand behind it. And they'll automatically open. I can adjust that in there as well. The Sorento 
SXL, the 16 model. Also has uh, power, of course, power seats, and it has memory seating as well. Infinity sound. I can fold my rear view mirrors right here. Now, right here, I've got a, uh, a button for AC 115 volt. So I'm going to press this, okay? That's going to route power to an AC outlet in the back seat. So let's, let's take a look at that. So in the back, so you can see not only do we have 12 volt outlet back here, I have a 115 volt AC outlet. And I have a rapid charge USB. So a couple different, several different ways to charge things. Rapid charge USB, 12 volt outlet, and my AC adapter right there. Another neat thing, the SXL Sorento has heated rear seats. It has these handy vent shades on a day like today where the sun's bright. Just pull these up and uh, block the sun. Again, the uh, seats are, are heated. So the third row, Scoop my seat up just a little bit. So now to access the third row in the Sorento, so that third row up now is just simply the seats. It's like, it's like, you may remember the old days of getting in a two-door coupe. Seats slide up and you just climb right in. You actually even have rear air controls. You have charging outlets back there. And we've got more room in the 16s. Much more room in the 16s than we had in the 15s. So I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to press that to lock it. Last thing I want to show you is the uh, the uh, smart lift gate. So you have to get away from the car for it to work. Hopefully it's forgotten by now. So I have the key in my pocket. I think I do. Nope. Yes, I have the key in my pocket. So I'm just going to approach the car. It's beeping, telling me it's going to open if I don't move. I'm not going to move, so it's going to open. So that's a nice feature. There's no kicking of your legs, moving of your arms, and the lift gate opens up. These third row seats stow real easily. You can do it with one finger. There's no wrestling match with the seats. So there's the 2016 Sorento in a nutshell. Great car. A lot more room, a lot more power. This is a six cylinder, 290 horsepower. Still gets the mid 20 mile per gallon. So a lot of car for the money, a lot of car. Love to show you one in person. Come down and see us. Wallace Kia, Bristol. Shot the right way in the parkway.